Today at my car coach, we would thought we would celebrate the end of the English summer by looking at Peugeot's RCZ Coupe. This is a car that's been around for a couple of years now, but I think you'll all agree, with its stunning looks, it's certainly worthy of a video review. The range starts from just over £20,000 here in the UK, rising up to £30,000 for the flagship model. This is the 1.6 litre petrol model, uh, it's turbocharged and this does give out 200 brake horsepower, so it is at the upper end of the range. You can actually have a diesel model and that is a 2 litre engine as well. So let's go and have a look at this car in more detail, look at some of the design features and I'll show you the inside as well. So as I mentioned, the Peugeot RCZ, you know, despite being around for a number of years, it still really hasn't lost any of that wow factor. I mean, yes, you can see from the front that it uh, has the typical Peugeot corporate grille, but it is like, unlike any other Peugeot on the road. And it's one of those really rare cars that has made the transition from concept model, that's the car that was shown at a motor show, to production reality without losing any of those amazing design touches. One of which is the unique bubble roof, uh, which you can see at the rear here, if I just bring the camera around, you can just see the indents there, uh, it's just a nice little design touch, doesn't really serve any purpose but it looks cool, uh, as do the stainless steel sidebars here, just really helps to set the car off. This is the GT model, as I said it's got 200 brake horsepower so it sits at, towards the upper end of the range which is why you get the nice low profile alloy wheels and even though they are very low profile they certainly don't upset the ride quality um, yes it's a stiff ride but it's certainly not uncomfortable uh, moving around to the rear of the car now uh, you've got really nice design in terms of the LED rear lights um, just bring it around at the front here I mean, rivals to this car include the Audi TT and Volkswagen Sirocco, um, but I think as you'll see from these pictures, um, it knocks those two for six in terms of design. Um, it really does look fantastic on the road, and whenever you drive it, a lot of people still turn and look. They're not um, overly familiar in the UK in the sense of um, there's not too many of them on the road, which is a good thing, uh, because it means the design is still fresh, and they still um, get people's heads turning which is what driving you know, a sporty coupe is all about. Let's go inside and have a further look. So it's all very well having a car that looks great from the outside, but to live up to that great design, it needs to have a fantastic interior. And this um, Peugeot RCZ, you know, you open the door, the first thing you're aware of are the nice grippy leather sports seats. Um, there's nice little design touches such as the racing metal pedals down there. And to you know, lift it up from, you know, what you might normally think of a Peugeot in terms of to lift it up in terms of quality. Uh, there's nice leather stitch dashboard here, also leather stitching to the side doors as well. Stepping into the car, oh, so you can see nice chrome instruments there. You also get a satellite navigation system with really good graphics. Actually, you'd be surprised at how many high-end cars are actually let down by the uh, poor graphics that they use for their satellite navigation. Also get a digital uh, radio and if we just turn to that, just give you a demonstration of that, all the different DAB radio stations are listed. Uh, nice quality item with the clock here. Uh, again you can really see the quality of that leather there as well. And then to move down to the centre console, um, this is all controls the multimedia system, radio, navigation, you can upload your SD card as well and plug in an auxiliary iPod as well. Uh, you get climate control, both left and right sides for the passenger. Um, so, you know, I mean, this car you know, retails probably about £30,000, so it does sit at the upper end of the RCZ uh, range. But there's no doubting that when you sit in here, you can tell this is a high-quality item, and Peugeot should be really congratulated on taking... Um, this interior and making it quite special. Um, I mean, things like here with the, the metal kind of inserts, they just help to lift the interior. Fantastic stereo as well. Uh, one thing I will just show you though before we finish is the rear seats. This is effectively a 2 plus 2 coupe, so what that means is you can take two adults and if I just pull back this seat here, let's be honest, two small children or two leprechauns. Or, perhaps the best way to look at it, 
is comfortable transport for two adults with a nicely upholstered parcel shelf. Um, I have to say though, visibility in the car isn't restrictive in any shape or form. As I say, the, that's emphasised by the beautiful uh, rear window design with that, that, with that remarkable bubble roof. And the side window panes are fairly big as well, so when you're actually in the car, um, you know, move, manoeuvring around junctions isn't a problem. It does feel very um, well illuminated, and that's thanks to a lot, all these large sections, sections of glass. As always, I hope you found this brief video review useful. There will be a more detailed write-up on our website in the car review section. And remember, for all your car buying needs, mycarcoach.co.uk.